It is week one of the Paxton impeachment trial and it has come to a close. Our Capitol correspondent Monica Madden highlights some of the reactions from Republicans not involved. Well, it's deeply disturbing. Um, the allegations that have been made, some of the evidence, I've been watching it off and on. Texas's senior U.S. Senator and former Attorney General himself says he has major concerns about evidence laid out in the trial last week. And he's not the only Republican outside of the Texas legislature to weigh in. Former Congressman Louie Gohmert released an op-ed Thursday titled, Ken Paxton is not a victim. Gohmert also challenged Paxton in the 2022 primary. He writes, I've fought two unjust impeachments of President Trump. I've seen corrupt prosecution. Pursuing Paxton is not. Corden shared that sentiment. You know, having been a veteran of two impeachment trials myself here recently, um, you know, it's a unique process, but uh, I think it's unfolding the way it should. And I think uh, the lieutenant governor has done a good job uh, making sure that it's not an overly politicized process and that. Attorney General Paxton gets a fair hearing, but also the whistleblowers who uh, claimed he was performing illegal acts uh, get a fair hearing too. Paxton denies all wrongdoing and pleaded not guilty to all 20 articles of impeachment on day one. He hasn't been at the trial since then, a day when dozens of supporters showed up to rally around the suspended AG. Paxton's trial will return for week two Monday morning. You can catch up on what you missed from witness testimony in the first week of the trial on our website at ktsm.com.